Woof! Holy crap! <laughs> what? That's a big hole! <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Vulcan. I'm Mick. We're playing Stationeers. Now, today, um, I think I might want to have another look at our water. Now, despite having our water uh, production here, which is we've still got plenty of oxygen, so it's not short of, short of oxygen. That heats our heater, powers our generators, heats our heater, heats our furnace. Uh, not I'm really using that one at the moment. But it runs our power generators for our Stirling engines. So that one's in use. Got another one in the middle, which is um, which is, is uh, heating our furnace and providing water, but it is still not enough. So I think I might need to make one that is just a dedicated uh, water producer. Um, uh, so I can just have that producing water non-stop. And what I'll try and do with that one there is uh, just mix mix a proper fuel mix. So I'm not having um, excess hydrogen that uh, is probably just slowing the process down. So we'll put a proper fuel mix on it and um, see if we can control that uh, dynamically and um, have an optimised one in there. My flowers are starting to grow. Still need some yellow flowers. Uh, and um, maybe have another shot at this airlock. I'm not done with you yet, airlock. You will do what you're supposed to do or not. Um, yeah, so we'll have another go at that and uh, maybe do a bit more on the farm. I've uh, got a few more walls and stuff up, so I'm uh, doing right. And I put a floor in. I put the disco floor in here. Now I might see if I can do something with that. I've got a bit of an idea. Might not work, but we'll see how it goes. Ah, uh, well, that's the thing with the experiments there. They don't always work, do they? Um, so, uh, what do we got? Do, do, do you? I'm carrying nothing. Awesome. Uh, right, so I shall need uh, an atmospherics kit. Uh, where are you? Over here. So if I use that for the water. Um, a mixer, I think I've got out in my junk pile from the rocket. Um, I'll need a chip and a housing. My flowers are growing more. Let's go get some yellow flowers. Um, so I need you, I need some peeper pipes, uh, which I don't have. Oh, or oh, oh, one of them. Uh, coloured pipes, of course. And whatever chunk we got outside. Right. Um, no, 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 just one are we fine. Uh, housing, I'll grab one of them as well. Got my computer, pipes, pipes, pipe, 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 pipes, and probably a water tank. I'm going to get that much out of it. I'm already planning to put in a water tank. Um, yeah, it'll be coming out hot. Yeah, we'll grab just an uninsulated one. That'll give it a chance to cool down a bit outside. I'm guessing the water will come out really hot. The machine will be uninsulated because we want to cool it down straight away. So I'll use that. I'll need some water pipes as well. I think I've got a heap of them outside. Or do I sell them all, thinking I'll never need them again? Eh. Um, what else? Mix of pipes. Pipes, 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 pipes. You lot. Uh, yeah, a couple of stacks of them, thanks. Now, um, right, let's, uh, now the airlock. I had the additional stuff out there for that, didn't I? Uh, you're good. And you should still be good. Yeah, you're fine. Now, um, 
Let's have another look at this airlock. I've read the comments now and somewhat understood them or not. Uh, pick up the advanced airlock. Now I did get comments there you can actually just uh, hit them with a screwdriver and that allows you to reset them. Uh, which is something I've had a lot of trouble with because I've had lots of things go wrong with these and uh, uh, especially the uh, comms, comms system. I often had them going bad and I had to continually throw away them uh, and replace the communications board in the in the uh, trading thing but now I can just reset it. I mean it's not a huge amount of materials but uh, materials is materials. Now I left my left my wiring in here so that I can be back because that'll be back uh, they're both set up I need to shut you off because we're going to wire them both together now and get rid of you before I pull any holes in the floor now where are you with you Oop. And you. Um, okay, we'll go over this side. Uh, yep. And you. Right. V is connected. You do nothing. Is what it should be. Now, as I understand it, this one has to be the master, and the other ones will be the slaves. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, console, make slave. Where's the other console? Console. No, <laughs> they're all broken now. Ah, uh, well, so much for that then. Damn it. Um, right. Can I actually get one of them to work this way? That'd probably be the first way to use it. Uh, So, uh, where's a little doodad in there? I can't do anything with you. Do I have to do it all with you? Uh, I've got the sensor outer, you know. Outer vent and the uh, inner vent. And the light. Is that how it's done? Oh, right. So now they're both working. So I've got to set it up from the master. Uh huh. Can I, see? I can't set up another door on that though, can I? Uh, oop. Cause I can't set up, I can set up more sensors. I can't add more doors though. So that doesn't work. Which means I might have to give up on that. Ah, that's not good. Um, hmm.
uh, outer inner gas sensor light um, oh no we're hooked up to the other door Uh, right, uh, let's um, let's just uh, pull that one out and reset it now, shall we? Um, uh, no, put it down. Now if I reset you, put you back in, you should all be set back to your default values. Ah, maybe not. <laughs> Uh, outer vent is the exterior, inner vent is the interior, gas sensor with that, outer airlock is the exterior, and we're all good, uh, two vents, gas sensor, my inner door is not going to work. <laughs> Oh, crap. Um, have I broken it all again? <sighs> no. Um, that is supposed to work. Um, not sure if it works on these ones. I did try it out on the programming uh, chips. It does work on them. You look like you've been reset. Uh, so, I have outer airlock, inner door, sensor, Out event, in event, and the light. Uh, a zero and zero. Yep. Now. You appear to be working again. So now if I put you into there. Now if I make you the slave. I can switch that from there. Nice. That's the way it's meant to work. Um, now, the way it wasn't working, is when we do this one. Uh, And you, nope, try that one. Uh, do. Uh, where to put me disk? Um, right. Okay, now, um, oh, yeah, i got to remove you again, don't I? Not with that. Try that one. Give me power. Now, I'll set you up to be a, a zero, zero, out event, in event, uh, light, 
outer airlock, inner door, and the gas sensor. Uh, put them away again. Wait if I got an extra uh, cable. Now, uh, boop to Q. We should cycle. We do. That's good. Now, if I make those two are both cycled the same. Now, if I hook you up, put you in there. In event, at event, console. No, it won't let me hook up another one to it. Well, there we go. I think we've got a. Yeah. Oh well, I think I've got to give up on that. <laughs> it's not going to work the way I want it to. I was probably never designed to work that way, so probably a fair bit that it, uh, it's not going to work. So, um, bye bye to you. Let's uh, remove that slave from there just to make sure we're not creating a problem. Uh, I want that away. Grab you out of there. Uh, let's get you off there. Right. Well, bye bye to that idea. I am going to officially give up on that one. And the only way I'm going to get it now is to write a whole custom airlock script to do that. And that's a lot of different devices to control. The uh, out of the packet ones are so much easier to do. But a console will be needed. So I'm going to make a water, water maker that uh, has uh, all that sort of stuff in it. It is dynamically controlled. Of course, when something is dynamically controlled, we're going to need a graph. Because to not put a graph on it would just be silly. Uh, right, so. Now, can we see what is in our water controllers? Not if there's a window in the way. Uh, so that's a combustor. Um, come on, don't do that to me. Right, now can I s setting error ratio? Ah, I cannot read the mix of gas in there. Um, okay, that makes it difficult. So if I don't know what gas is in there, how do I know which gas to add? Um, I don't know. Uh, oh, well, that's ruined that plan. <laughs> um, I really can't do that. There's no ratio, nothing on that one. Is it a slot? Um, come, Buster, you. No, there's no slots on it. It's not hidden in a slot. Um, damn it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because they do actually have contents in them. But I want to know what they are. Because if I know what that is, I can then add the appropriate amount of either oxygen or hydrogen from the input and uh, make water. Ooh, 8,000 degrees, seriously? Put that away. Yep. Uh, so. Did 
Damn it. Um, well, that's ruined it. Uh, I could check the pipe and see what's going into it, but that's not going to tell me what's in the machine, what the machine needs. Um, um, I mean, I could just let the excess come out, but I do. I'm going to have to run some experiments with that. That might have ruined my whole plan. <laughs> no. Oh, the uninsulated tank. They've got the nice colours on it now too. That's nice. Um, ah. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. fireworks to celebrate um well there we go I've not very far in I've already failed with, failed with the airlock and failed with the water converter ah awesome awesome start ah right well that was easy ah. um come on give me one win uh, right. Now, uh, was there anything else we wanted? Pick up this crap. Uh, you. Whoops. Amy GPS. And I think that was all the stuff I uh, bring with me. Um, although I could leave that just out here, couldn't I? Uh, do, 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 do. Right. Now, um, lucky I made all those pipes for uh, not building the uh, water burner. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, another one of them. Handy, thanks. Uh, right now, we did have still another error on my sorter code. Uh, import you, edit. Now, it was spotted that down here is when I was checking to see if the ingot had arrived. Uh, I was checking the quantity that is in the import slot, which is not what I want to do, because um, we're clearing the memory, and I actually want to load uh, from the vending machine the import count. Oops. Import count? Yes, it is. So it's actually counting the number of things that have arrived, not the actual the item that has arrived that's the one I want um, so if it is in a pause somewhere where that thing pops in through the import counter it won't miss it uh, boom export and let's see if anybody can remember that and see what I was actually talking about uh, it looks to be working they're all good real good um, Right, uh, we got that fixed. Uh, water burner. Mm. We might not get done. Uh, but what we have to do is we can go and put some more stuff on the. Whoops! I think we do have to do something about this water, don't I? I don't want to just build more and more of the same, that's a bit boring. Because I don't actually need the heat from the other one. No, some more generators is probably not a bad idea. We can go put the batteries... Ugh, put the batteries maybe out here somewhere. And I should put in a transformer. 
and although most of the power comes during the night when I've got the generators running uh, probably doesn't matter uh, right although I think I've still got full power all day uh, we'll find out soon enough now that the sun is coming up our brand new sun uh, right so nitrogen production's all going good our food production is uh, getting there anything And that might be it. Still got to find somewhere to put the medical centre. And um, I always like the corn comes out as a as there's a gun sound. They're all still working. My nitrogen's still making. We have food. You're good. Uh, right, so what am I going to do with this water? I've certainly got the capacity to bring cool in, cool more. Um, I just don't have the water to actually cool. Yes, yeah, there's not a lot there. Now it is going up now. Uh, so I can't have it run through the machine or it's just going to explode when it comes out the hot side. Um, M -m 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 -m. Mm. Okay, so let's let's go have a look at the uh, trader. Uh. Uh, whoop, helmet, yep. Uh, you can go there. You can go there. Anything I don't want. Ah. This is not going to plan today. Oof. Uh, I need to put an alarm on that too. I need to really put some alarms on things. Uh, that's not what I want. What are we looking at? You. Oh, nope, that one. Oh, organics. There we go. Some yellow flowers. Important stuff. Ah, uh, 79. 88, 90, yep, back the other way, you will do, contact you, oh you got there quick, uh, yep, uh, yep, no, still the later wave to them, Whoa! Oh, that's mostly my crap. Okay. You've got no yellow flowers. Uh, well, how would you like a heap of this stuff? Uh, how much money you got left? Not much. Um, 200 left. Uh, you done taking all your money. Uh, confirm. Depart. Be gone with you. Uh, 
Uh, I suppose we got another one there at all. Not looking promising. Oh, we do. Oh, we do. Sometimes you spend ages looking for them, and other times your cup runneth over. Doop, there we go. Contact you. Right, flowers. Now I do have those ovaries there. Kind of wonder, can I put them in the farm and say it's a, a, um, a tractor? <laughs> uh, blue, green, yellow, that's what we wanted. Um, so you can have that, that. Ooh. Arc welder, damn. They sell for three grand. Wow. I think I'm going to start making them to sell to people. Uh, right. And a sorter. Oh, it's right. Okay. Um, depart. Yes, yeah, so I might actually grab them back. Oop, not that one. You can go in there. So I've got these things. Yeah, no, they're actually quite large, aren't they? So I have to pull up a heap of the floor. Oh, I can do that. And have it sit there and pretend it's a tractor. <laughs> Might be a bit too big in the other look at it. Uh, but anyway. Uh, I've still got to do the alarm as well. I have put down a heap more roofers in between episodes. Uh, and a heap of planters. There's still big holes in the roof, so it's not done yet. I've got all the pl a heap of planters. Now, this is a couple of hundred planters. That's a couple of thousand of steel to get this that far, and I've still got a long way to go. Um, I'll move the windmill a bit further away so I can put up the walls. And I uh, might just have to move that pipe. Although I'm going to need the water, so I'll probably need to connect that pipe to everything. Uh, but anyway, inside I put down some floors, some couch. Oh, the gun rats! The gun's grown! Wow! Oh, was it just a reload that did that? <laughs> oh, well, my gun rack looks a bit better. Uh, my kitchen. Once again, I've got the uh, overhead lockers in there, not the uh, ground ones, because the ground ones needed support. Oh, uh, the bedroom. I uh, need a ceiling. Oh, that's my little farmhouse. So I'll put some flowers up the front here, maybe a hedge on the side. A fence around the front yard, and all the rest will be the, the farm. I'll, so I'll space these out in between them, because there's just going to be too many. Way, way, way too many. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So that's what we've got so far. How are you doing? You've unloaded. I haven't clogged up the system as yet. Oh, no, you're still going. Fair enough. Oh, yep, you're empty. You have shut yourself off. Um, right. Did I switch off the trade? Now I probably need to move my storm alarm. It's just sitting there because it's in that was, was a convenient place. Uh, I probably need to move it somewhere else now. Somewhere with a main power cable. I do have a main power cable coming in just there, but I think I have the other power cable to this coming out just there, so it's not going to be so easy to get past it. Hmm. Now. 
And I didn't switch that off, no. <laughs> Uh, jetpack doesn't like if I use my uh, jetpack in the old air. Old airlock doesn't like it if I use my jetpack in there. Right, now it's off. It's been more than a couple of seconds now, so I've probably forgotten. Um, oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. It's a canister of fuel. That's a canister of fuel. Um, right. Oh, I don't want that going off in the base. <laughs> it's going to be really bad. Is it going to explode? Oh. Well, that's kind of disappointing. It's the middle of the day. Ooh. <laughs> Is it? Oh. It was floating a bit there for a minute. I thought it was going to explode. It should. It should ignite. Oof! Holy crap! <laughs> what? That's a big hole! would have made a mess in there. That would have wiped out my base. Holy crap. Um, now that's why I don't want stuff to get jammed in my chutes. I mean, even if I'd uh, sent that through, if set up the sorters to send that through to the doom hole, that probably would have still blown up my base. Um, <laughs> whoops. Um, okay. I'm glad that's outside. I hope I haven't got any more in there. Maybe this uh, rocket thing isn't the best. Oh, glass sheets. I need them. Another mixer. I don't need that. Oh, four, four small engines. Well, that'll go with, well with the other one I got. I can really power this place up. Uh, some lights. Generator, meh. A, oh, a turret. Nice. What do I need a gas connector on that? Once again, that's uh, something that's not in the instructions, so we'll have to. Uh... Oh, that is awesome. Oh, that'll have to go in the farm. Use that for taking care of that plague of chickens. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm keeping you. Um, all right, cool. Uh, marine armor that'll do well for my um. Huh? And another gun. I've already got one of them. Uh, a flag. Some iron. Charcoal. And cook tomatoes, that's pretty random. Uh, right. Constantine iron. Right, fair enough. Uh, I've got a turret. Nice. Will that make a bigger hole as the <laughs> canister of fuel? I think I have had a canister of fuel when I was on an iron building my first base at Europa many, many years ago. Not the one I made on um, on this channel, but uh, one uh, one I've got on the... my first one that I put on the workshop. Uh, yeah, we may as well just drop them in there. They're short stacks, but yeah, they'll figure it out. The uh, first uh, Europa base that I put on the workshop, that was... Uh, when I was making that, I pulled the wall out for the furnace, I think it was. And well, I was building the furnace and it made the room very hot. And didn't really think much of it until uh, the base just blew up. And I eventually tracked, tracked it all back to where the explosion started and it was a cupboard where I had stored my welder, my gas welder. So I think the uh, canister in the welder just got too hot. 
because it wasn't in a tool belt and it wasn't insulated and um, it blew up my entire base so uh, yeah I don't like those uh, welders anymore that's why I throw them away as soon as I can uh, but I'll hoe down these tomatoes yummy yummy and uh, right yellow flowers done that's my success story for the episode so far. Oh, that's sad. Ah, right. Now, but what I would like to do... Uh, i got to put that gun away. Um, do I have room? That's a blue cable. Uh, not much room there. Not much room there, not much room there. Yeah? Not a good spot. But I could. Right, so what I'd like to do is find a way to actually know what's... how much ore I've got. And if it can actually uh, count it up and tell me. I'll need a display in here, because I don't want to go all the way out there. what do I look like? Um, so I'll need a chip. Now I've got five five uh, sorters out there so they they will um, I've got, got six pins on the chip so I can hook up a uh, the five vending machines to it and I can get it to count what's in each of them because we know what's in each of them because they've been sorted out and then uh, it'd be nice if I just had one item in each so I wouldn't have to count individually what's in there uh, so I know what's in them we've got iron and something else in there uh, fine I'll look at the sorters then uh, lead and iron uh, so I know I've just got to count for lead and iron in that one and uh, copper and silver in that one and whatever else in the other ones there so then I could uh, if I put a dial on there to I can select an ore and it'll just go and count how many of them are in there and I've got one more pin left where I can put a display on there to display what's in there. Uh, that could be a plan. Um, right, so I'd have to hook that up to the yellow cable. Because that's where they all are, so I'll need a display. Oh, which I've got. Oh, psh. I planned that well. It wasn't an accident. That was meant to happen. Uh, so I need a display, and I shall need the chip. Uh, choose there. Uh, cable. Yeah. And doop. Right, good. Uh, oop, you're good, you're good. So now, uh, you were iron and lead. Iron and lead, you were copper and silver. Uh, you are gold and cobalt. This is two. You are silicon and steel. Uh, you are coal and nickel, probably. 
and Nicole and Carl. Right, so I'm going to have to know each, whoop, know each of them and so I have to read a dial, I'll need a dial, um, okay, I'll need a dial, I can display, I'll need another display, I don't have enough uh, pins on there anymore do I, because I'll need a display, I'll need a dial, and I'll probably need another display with a hash display to actually show what I'm actually looking at. Um, so I can get the display that I can write the hash to the housing and get the display to read off that. This one I'll have to control and the dial I'll have to control. I have another dial on that circuit. It is the furnace circuit, so I can't batch that. I probably batch right that one because I don't have any more of them on there. Right. Uh, uh, here we go. <laughs> um, okay. They're tiny when you first put them up there. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Do they have... If I edit the save file, can I change the size of things? I think I've seen size written on that one there. Because then I could get a giant Amy up here and name it a Crushinator. What other... Robot would you have on a space farm? Uh, right now, a switch. I do not have here. Uh, so inside we go. And uh, what do I want? Switch. Just the one. Uh, yeah, we don't have any other displays on there, so I can safely batch that one. Uh, actually, were, were you batching the dial? I can't remember. Import, edit. Um, oh, crap, you are. <laughs> Um, okay, so I can't put another dial on that circuit. Um, no, 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 another failed project. How am I going to do that? I can't put on another circuit. Um, a logic mirror? If I use a logic mirror attached to their dial, I can then read the dial through the logic mirror, and the logic mirror will have a different hash to the dial, so as the batch write shouldn't, batch read shouldn't read their new dial. Aha! We have a way forward. Uh, so, not ideal, but we work with what we got. Uh, so if I grab you... This is why I like to separate all my circuits. So you're not having to worry about this sort of stuff going on. And... Not going to order anymore? Yes, you are. Look at that. It dispatched a gold bar. Now it's making gold bars. <laughs> ah, it is a thing of beauty. Ah, I love it when a plan comes together. Ah, uh, right. Now. 
and you still got to do the storm alarm. So I'll put them in the do that later pile. Uh, now, got me logic mirror. Whoop. Oh, I needed another display, <laughs> you idiot. Ah. So now the dial had to be on the input side, was it? Or the output side? Oh, I don't remember. Ah, did it do? You can be on there. Um, oh, uh, I hope you don't mind me just connecting stuff on this. Uh, try that one. Now, can I set you to the dial? Dial, I can, right. Uh, right, so now if I read the, read the logic mirror now instead of the dial, I'll have that dial. If I read the dial, I get the other dial. So, we're good again. I can batch you, I can read you, um, and without upsetting the other circuit. So I still need my other display with a hash and uh, get it right this time. It will happen eventually. Uh, you, you. Uh, now, I want a console and a hash reader. Yo, and you, right. Now, so I need to set the dial. To what I want to read and we have to know which machine that comes from and recount in that machine. Uh, do, do. Uh, yeah, I'll do. If you. Uh, you. Oop. Now, you, I'll probably have to name, won't I? So you are the, um, or I see housing, switch you off, and uh, disk. Uh, where are we? Oh, there we go. Which will be nothing at the moment, but that's all right. So now we shall want to set you up with vending machine, silicon steel, nickel and coal, iron and lead, copper and silver, and gold and cobalt. And you, we were going to have the mirror, I think we said. Logic mirror. Logic mirror, I haven't named it. Uh, right. Now. Uh, so, I will have to set up... Uh, the items in, uh, probably once again, we'll use a stack. Uh, so if I push all the item I, uh, hash values to the stack, I can then read it. I have two, two items in each vending machine. So if I, uh, okay, so if I just use a dynamic device allocation, I can just take the dial and um, divide that number by two and that'll tell me which vending machine it should be in. Right, that might make sense. Uh, let's uh, push all the... Oh, 
push all the oh crikey, push her all of the hash values into the stack and get that working Rightio. so we shall need them in the right order so we've got uh, silicon and steel in the first one uh, so F1 was uh, silicon you yeah uh, silicon and off we go uh, oh, how many times can I spell that wrong damn okay we might do a quick edit on this one then uh, steel right so that has all of them in there so they are in the same order as what I have my vending machines attached so it's silicon and steel in the one I've got on D0 Nickel and coal, I've got D2, iron and lead, D3. So we've got all of them there. So now I shall need to uh, alias, uh, what were we using? We're using the, uh, it was the dial. The dial we're reading directly from a D5. And the or batch writing to find the display um, is I don't know search try that one display which would be you right the vending machines we shall access via indirect references okay so. Now, uh, I shall also alias a vending machine uh, as a number. And I'll put you to R, R5. So we put you as a register. So what we're going to do with this one is uh, we shall start yield. We shall load into R0 the dial setting oops set to set to setting right so I shall then uh, set the stack pointer to be that value I shall peak into R1 shall load that value from the stack so we shall then whatever the dial set at we shall pull that value out of the stack and we shall save that to the IC housing oops maybe setting assess setting uh, R1 don't need that value anymore we're done with it and that should work for now. Um, jump to the start. Confirm. Export. Oop. Uh, you're not liking that. Stack underflow. I picked it. the stack actually start at one it does right weird but okay uh, right so then I should just add one to that uh, whoops add oh, zero oh, zero and one from export right I'm sure this deck started at zero uh, boop, boop. If I can see it right right gee you lot of noisy uh, okay 
So I've got the dial selecting what we've got there. Now, what I want to do is if I have that, uh, right, so uh, let's not do that. Let's change, change my mind on that one. Uh, I shall remove that. I shall add one to the stack pointer, not R0. So I want to know what that value is. All right, so I'll adjust the stack pointer, then read it. Right, R0 still has a setting that's in the desired dial. So what I can do now is, uh, is I can now just uh, divide uh, R0 is R0 divided by 2. And then uh, uh, no, it's not integer, it's a uh, truncate tr trunk. Damn, I can't spell today. Uh, truncate R0. Right, so we're just taking the integer value of it. So if it's 0, divide by 2, 0, truncate it's still 0. If it's 1, it becomes 0.5, truncate it. We're back to zero. Uh, so zero or one both go to zero. Two and three will both go to one. So that'll tell us what vending machine we're looking at. So then I can just say, we'll just start looking at the vending machine. Uh, so uh, I think we can just say from a vending machine, just to make sure we're identifying the correct one. Uh, do we have a quantity or something in there? Our total slots occupied. Quantity, we do have a quantity, right? So I'll just read the total number of ingots in there so we can see that we're getting different vending machines. So what I should do is uh, load into R0. Uh, let's use a different one. Load into R1 from device uh, 0. So it'll be device 0, 1, 2, 3 or 5 depending what R0 is. And the whoops, Q -A -N -T -I -T -Y, quantity and we shall save batch to the display. Oh, come on. <laughs> Can I display any word right? Uh, setting uh, one. Right, so whatever we read out of that, put to what? Yeah, okay, typing and words are both good. Boom. Boop. Yep. Export. Right, so we've got 14 items in there. If I switch it to one, I should still have 14 items. And when I go to the next one, it should change. It does 47, 47, 92. Wow, 92 items in that one. That vending machine is almost full. Uh, 44, 44, 37. Oh, yep, sorry. Oh, yes, right, so we've gone to the next one. So we need to limit that one to a maximum of nine. Uh, crap, you. Uh, oh, crap. Nine is your maximum. Right, so now that is accessing the right vending machine. So now I just need to count how many items are in there that match the uh, hash value. Right. Um, so maybe... Okay, so we want to keep that. So uh, let's uh, let's actually keep that value then. Um, so I shall alias the or uh, that's not a device. Let's get into the variables. Alias the uh, or to uh, six. So we are getting the side setting. We are loading to uh, or 
or because we'll need that later. Okay, so now we need to set up a loop that will count all of the slots in the vending machine and see which one actually matches our ore. Yep. Space setting. So, yep. So that one was a nonsense value. We need to set up the loop in here. We've properly identified the vending machine. We've properly selected the ore. So now we just need to count it. So we need a loop in here. Uh, so we shall need another one there, alias the slot counter to uh, seven. And we shall need a tally as well. Uh, so tally to uh, eight. Okay. So there, so before we start the loop, we make sure we clear our settings from the previous loop. So move, uh, tally, reset that to zero, and move slot counter. Uh, and then we wanted to start on slot two for that one, wasn't it? Uh, one. Uh, where are we? So storage. First storage is slot two. Good. Right, so we've reset our counters. We shall have a loop. Uh, slot loop. And we shall load slot. Um, into, oh, it's our temporary variable. I think we've finished with R0, haven't we? Uh, that's displaying our vending machine. Well, let's keep that one as well then. That's an important one because we'll have to keep that later. Alias, the vending machine index. Uh, uh, nine. Wow, we really have to start to name variables. That's getting sad. Uh, so, read R0. Use that to retrieve our OR. Divide it by 2. Truncate it. And that will become our uh, vending machine index. Oops. Oh, come on. Index. Can I actually use that in here though? Um, oops. Probably not. Uh, yeah, that might not work. Okay, I might have to leave that as an R0. Oop, try again. Right. Well, get rid of that one then. Yep, you're gone. Now, so R0 is our vending machine index. All right, so don't re reuse R0 anymore. Okay, so we shall load into um, R1 because uh, we're going to add that on later. Load into R1 load slot from the no, no, no. For, okay, here's where we're getting confused now. So we want to reuse that one. So loading a slot from the right vending machine. Slot. Uh, slot. <laughs> C O U N T. Slot counter. It'll be the uh, uh, occupant hash, I think it is. Occupant hash. So, right, so we're going to load whatever is in from that vending machine that we've selected, whatever the occupant hash is. Right, now we shall say uh, it's, uh, set equal. So, if uh, set r1 if what's in there equals our or. 
So that'll be the hash value that we selected from the stack. So if it is that right one, true, one, if not, zero. So we then add to the tally the uh, uh, one that we've just figured out. All right. So new should display the tally. Uh, probably want to put that outside the loop, won't we? We'll put that at the end. Uh, right, so we're now adding it up. So now we need to move to the next slot. So add a slot counter. Uh, <laughs> so if we add one to that, it'll increase it. And we shall branch uh, less than. So if the slot counter is less than uh, 102, so it'll get up to 101, it'll go back to uh, the uh, slot loop. Once it gets to 102, don't count anymore because you run out of slots. Right, so then we can save this tally onto there. We're good. Okay. Export. Into there. Oh, no errors. Okay. And what's that? 14. 23. 13. Okay, there's a bit of a split delay on it. It does have a count through 100 slots there, but it is uh, telling us what we've got of each one now. 17 lead, uh, 75s, or iron. Heaps of coal, so I can make heaps, heaps of steel. And wow, well, it's slow. Okay. Six of them. And eight of them. Ugh, so okay, so I better go get some silicon, I guess. Right, so that works. It's not great, but it works. <laughs> Yay, I've had a win. <laughs> right, now what do I do with that? Now, like the other one, I could have it just automatically cycle through all of that stuff. And uh, if anything is low, you could either send an alarm to me, or I could launch the rocket to go get some more, but I can't get the rocket to actually bring back something specific. So if like uh, the one that's got the iron in it is almost full, it may clog up the system, and I may get a, another bomb caught in the chutes, which would be really, really bad. <laughs> I almost blew up the base. Awesome. Uh, Right. Apart from that, I've got heaps and heaps of iron, so I probably make some more planters for upstairs, make some more windows, could make plenty of steel, and uh, get a bit more work done on the farm, perhaps. Uh, yes, we've got plenty of stuff. I need to go mine some silicon, obviously, and um, we'll see how we go. That airlock's annoying, though. Oh, I was never made to do that. I'm trying to get it to do something it was never made to do, so it's up to me to find a way to get it to work the way I want it to work. Uh, things were made to work a certain way. Look at the flowers, they're so cool. The yellow ones are needed there to make it look a bit, a bit better. Uh, I actually don't go up too high. Could I have put tropical lilies in? I probably could have put tropical lilies in there. They are Peace lilies might have been a bit too tall. I could have put tropical lilies in there. But those ones will do. They're cool. Um, what was I doing? Walls. <laughs> uh, make me a stack of them. And uh, hydroponics trays. Oh, yeah, make me. Yeah, go a hundred of them. 
I got plenty of iron. It's cool. Uh, what? 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 Um. Whoops. Line eighty. Uh, let's try loading it. I was trying to save it. I had load slot. I just had to take out the uh, the L or the S, and I of those two options there, I chose the wrong one. That sounds about right. So you are now successfully counting through and working. More iron going out. So you should probably be making iron. Yep, you can come with. No, you're still set to gold. You didn't want more iron, really? I must have a crap load of iron in there. All right. Some more of these. I really want to put a tractor up there. I might take that up. What do I need for one of them? Uh, you. Nope, search. Oh, good you. I need electronic parts. Oh, iron sheets and steel sheets. Weird. Okay. Electronic parts. A whole one of them. It was one. It was one. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're still not needing more iron. How much of that crap do you have in there? Uh, do. There goes another one. Uh, you iron three left. Yeah, now you want more. Right, well, let's do that. Let's go out and grab the ogres. I might have to be careful where I put this because if I breach any of the uh, Passages that will be annoying. Uh, that'll breach the passage. I mean, oh, it's three long. Um, Okay. This is going to take up so much water. Now I've really got to get, now I've really got to get the water maker up. I need heaps of pipes to go in between them all. I need some way of actually ventilating this place and cooling it down. And I didn't bring out my iron sheets, did I? I think they're in the cupboard down below, so we might be okay. 
right now I want I want I want I want to pull out Open at you grab the grinder and Oh, is yoga going to be airtight? That's the thing. Uh, you, I want electronic parts. Um, welding torch and electronic parts. That's weird. Okay. Uh, iron sheets. Now. Do, 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 do. You. <laughs> there we go. Does that look like a corn harvester? <laughs> well, I don't know what a corn harvester looks like. Uh, but is that going to be airtight? It's probably the real thing there, because you do have holes in there. Uh, so that might be my undoing. I have to move it to somewhere else. I can poke it through the wall there. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, uh, give myself a light. That's better. I should put down some more garden trays and uh, see how we're doing. Yep. Oh, finish off some walls. Is that how I did the other side? No, it was on the corners. Ooh, what an amateur. Uh, you. There. Yeah, that's actually another hundred of those things put down. Oh, I've got some, still got some more sitting in the manufacturing area. I got my tractor. Uh, got my fields. Just need a heap of corn now to plant, some flowers, and a hedgerow. And actually close off these windows. Uh, so, you. Whoop. Can I, put you, I can put one in there. Nice. So I will be able to seal it off at the back at least. And that's where we want it to be. Oh, no, you. And. Oh. Right. You. You. Nope. Plastic sheets too. Awesome. Uh, I'll put your frames back in there. Make you airtight. 
the view and the welder. I can probably put my beacon light on there, move that up higher. Uh, weather station up here. Yeah, I could do that. That wouldn't look too bad. Um, <laughs> damn, that's a big crater. <laughs> I'm so lucky that didn't get stuck in the chutes. Oh, wow. Um, right. Whoop. Do, 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 do. Stop, stop, stop. <gasps> Floaty! No! No! I can't have floaty rocks. You! Arr. How am I going to do that? How am I going to do that? How am I going to do that? Well, another day, that's how I'm going to do that. Um. Right, uh, there we go. I think that was sort of a successful day. I got the ore counter up. I got a tractor. I made a big crater in the front yard. <laughs> My water maker failed. Oh, I do have some more. Oh, okay. I've got a lot more of these in here. Uh, okay. I got my flowers. Yay! The flower garden's finished. Um, and apart from that, yeah, we fixed some fixed some bugs. Uh, <laughs> but that's better. We got time for today. So until next time, happy building. See ya.